What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm bringing to you this really pretty sunburnt bronze glam that's very dewy, glowy, and natural. I will definitely say this look is very reminiscent to a look I wore in a previous favorites video. I wore no false lashes. My skin was very, very dewy. I looked sunburnt, sun-kissed, but the eyes were more cool tone. And today I'm bringing to you all the bronzy tones. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I really wanted to incorporate different makeup techniques that I've been using to really get that natural look. So if you guys love that, make sure you smash that like button. We're going to see if we can get this video to 2,500 likes. I know you guys could do it. So pause the video, look down there, check out the like button. And if we're not quite there yet, do me a solid, press that button and subscribe to my channel. So that way you guys don't miss any videos from me. With that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started on this look. So let's go. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. I am going to start off with a little bit of sunscreen. This here is the Glow Screen by Supergoop. I'm going to just squirt a little bit of this out. Ew, I said squirt, but I'm going to take a little bit of this onto my face. I love that it is somewhat tinted, so I don't get flashback whatsoever. It also provides my skin with such a beautiful glow. I did already apply my skin prep before I sat down to film, so that's why I'm not going through the oil and the moisturizer and all of that. I feel like sometimes it can be a little repetitive within my videos, so I'm just jumping straight into sunscreen. And you can see instantly the glow it gives my skin. It's just so, so, so beautiful. If you guys have not tried this sunscreen by Supergoop, I highly, highly recommend, especially for summer. You guys know that dewy, glowy dolphin skin look is very much in, and I feel like this really just gives it to you. Another thing I want to point out about the glow screen by Supergoop is that on the back it says it is a lightweight pearlescent formula that hydrates the skin while acting as a luminous makeup gripping primer. That is news to me. I did not know I could actually use this as a makeup gripping primer, so that's nice. Not only is it a sunscreen, but it also is acting as my face primer. But you guys know me, I'm a hell extra whenever it comes to primer. And I just got some new primers in the mail from Jouer. I got the moisture primer and then I also got the matte primer. What's cool about these is that, or the matte primer I should say, is that it has salicylic acid acne treatment in it and it's also silicone free. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. On the back it says it is an oil free mattifying primer that is formulated with salicylic acid to help diminish the appearance of acne prone skin. And and visible redness, which are all the things I do struggle with. Did they make this for me? Did you have me mind? No, probably not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It says apply a pearl size to the skin before makeup application to minimize the look of pore. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is what the tube looks like. So taking about that much. It's not a thick primer at all, so that's really nice. I'm gonna take it right here in this area. Hmm, it has a scent to it, but I don't think it's fragranced. It's really strange, but I'm just taking it right here in this area. Oh, I love that it is formulated with salicylic acid. That's awesome. I love the way it feels on my skin. By the way, it feels very, very silky smooth. Of course you do. Oh. I make you silky smooth. I oh. tell you this. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with a under eye brightener. This one is by Milani. I tried this out a few videos back and honestly, I really like it. It's very, very nice underneath the eyes. It's not too thick, but it gives me the slightest bit of coverage. So I'm gonna take some right underneath my eyes. I'm also going to use this in areas where I do have discoloration because anytime I get a pimple of that sort, I do scar. Like no matter what I do, I don't have to pick at it. It just scars instantly and it sucks, but I am getting chemical peels and I have a really, really good skincare regimen right now that hopefully will clear up my skin for the better. And I already know what you're thinking. Peach does not cancel out redness, I know. So peach color correctors are really gonna help cancel out blue and purple shadows. And I mean, my acne scarring is a little blue purple, so that's why I do that. Look at that, I just took a little bit of that color corrector onto my lids and my veins just really aren't as a parent like look at this eye compared to this side over here and i'm going to show you that that light peach really just helped cancel out that veinage discoloration on my eyes 
Now, before I get into foundation, I do wanna do my brows really quickly because I will be using the Anastasia Brow Freeze. And sometimes I find when I try to use this, like when I have foundation on, it gets very, very icky and it doesn't mix well with the actual foundation. So I will be doing my brows before I put any base makeup on. I love this because it has really nice hold to it. And for those days when I really want to straighten out my brow hairs, this product just works really nice. I'm gonna take a spoolie and just brush some of the product through the brow. And again, I'm really gonna lay my brow hairs down because they are pretty curly. And this really just straightens them out and gives them that really nice laminated look. So now that my brow hairs are nice and laid, I'm gonna move on to foundation. I really wanna try this out. This is by Sephora Collection. This is a long wearing foundation. And on the back, it says it has medium to buildable coverage. And it's really gonna give you naturally perfected skin. It's enriched with algae extracts, hyaluronic acid. Ooh, provides anti-pollution benefits and 12 hour hydration. Ooh, I'm really, really excited about this. It's also non-comedogenic and dermatologist tested. So I'm going to to give it a shake another thing about this product is on the back it says that 30 percent of the glass is made from recycled material which is awesome so i'm going to just give it a pump if you guys are curious as to which shade i'm using wow a million pumps later oh there we go okay so it is a thicker formula as you can see it's not too runny i was actually expecting a very runny formula for this product but I'm in the shade 18.5Y, so it is more of a warm undertone, which is something I tend to reach for a lot. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to dab it onto my skin. I feel like with the sponge, I do tend to get fuller coverage, which I mean, I'm into. I'm not really looking for something super full coverage. I just want to even out my skin tone. So final verdict on the foundation, I definitely feel like it has great medium coverage to it. It's definitely not full on coverage. As you can see, I still have some blemishes peeking through, but nothing out of this world that can't be covered up with concealer. So I am gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade five. I've really been loving this concealer. It looks very, very natural on the skin. And that's why I'm pairing it with this foundation because I don't want anything too full coverage because I don't want it to look weird when paired with something so natural on the skin. So I'm going to take this underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna use it to highlight my chin area, Cupid's bow, and down the center of my face. You guys know I also love to take my concealers onto my chin area because it just provides me with additional coverage considering I do have blemished skin. But I will say it's getting better. Slow progress is still progress. I can't wait to do like an updated skincare routine for you guys. It's gonna be so great because I feel like I finally found the products that are really, really doing wonders for me. So now that concealer is nice and blended out, let's go ahead and move on to under eye powder. Now I'm only going to apply the slightest bit of under eye powder. I'm going to use the Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder by Haley's Beauty. I've been obsessed with this. I cannot put it down. I kid you guys not. I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually try out Haley Beauty powders, but I know that there is another one or I could be wrong. This could be the only one, but I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and I'm going to just set right here. I don't wanna go too crazy. So I'm only gonna take it like right underneath my eyes. So about that much. I'm also gonna pick up a little bit of that powder with a brush. Sometimes I feel like applying powder with a brush is just a lot better in makeup looks like this because you could strategically place the powder exactly where you want it. So I'm gonna take this powder in all the areas where I don't wanna be overly oily. So around my nose, chin, and forehead. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Kosas Cushiony Powder in the shade Comfy. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm lightly going to set down the areas where I am going to contour just because I don't want my contour to skip onto my foundation because it's not set yet. What I love about this is that it does set my makeup down and in place, but it's not adding like additional coverage or anything like that. It's taking away the shine just slightly while still keeping the skin very 
very pretty and luminous. Like, look at that. Looks so natural and very, very skin-like. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and then I'm gonna go in with my contour. I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I just picked this up during the Sephora sale and I'm so obsessed with it. I'm gonna take this shade right here, just like a little bit of that one. And then I'm just gonna use this to contour. This is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a very long way, but I love that it allows me to create very natural looking shadows. Look at that, color is gorgeous. I'm also gonna try to blend this back as opposed to just swiping it across my forehead because it just looks a lot better that way and it prevents me from giving myself a bronzer helmet. Then with a bigger side of this brush, by the way, this brush is from Hourglass. It is a really extra brush, but I've been finding myself reaching for it nonstop. I'm going to take this contour and I'm gonna take it pretty high up on my cheekbone to lift the cheeks for more of a sculpted look. I'm not gonna take it too low because I know this doesn't really do anything for my face shape. So I'm gonna keep it pretty high. And I'm going in big circular motion, just very softly, because I really want this look to remain natural. So enough of the Dior contour, even though I'm so obsessed with it. I'm gonna switch over to using a bronzing powder. Now the difference between bronzing and contouring is very big. Contouring is really gonna chisel out the face. Bronzing is going to add that warmth to the skin. So I'm going to use this one here by Vesca Beauty. They sent me a bunch of stuff a couple months ago and I use some of their cream eyeshadows crazy crazy good but i want to dabble more into this bronzer because it's so pretty and it's so soft to the touch so i'm going to use this to bronze up the skin the shade i'm using is kiss by santorini if you guys have tried vesca beauty let me know down below i'd love to know and what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to use it to add warmth give me that bronzy looking glow and i'm going to layer it over top of the dior contour Another thing I'm actually gonna do with my bronzing powder is I'm going to take a brush like this. This is my ABH, this is an A22, and I'm just gonna pick up some of that bronzing powder. This is a lot, so I'm just going to brush it on the back of my hand, but then I'm gonna take it like here in the form of W over my nose to give me that really pretty, just effortless, sun-kissed look. Again, I'm not really going for anything crazy or too contoured or anything like that. And this step right here just does something different to my makeup routine that I'm really, really into. And this brush kind of sheds a lot. So forewarning, if you decide to get it, I'll have it listed down below, but don't get it. Okay. So for blush today, I'm gonna switch things up just a little bit. I'm using the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush by Patrick Ta in the shade Do We Know Her. Usually I will use She So LA, but more recently I picked this up and I've been wanting to use it more. I'm going to take the Fenty 125 base brush and dip into the cream. And then whatever's left, I'm just gonna dab onto the back of my hand. But I'm gonna start a little higher up and I'm just gonna work this onto the cheeks. Now I want you guys to pay attention to where I'm actually placing my blush. I'm placing it pretty high, but whatever I have left, the ones I already have it initially placed on the highest point of my cheek, I'm going to take it and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the bronzer. I'm gonna take it over top of my nose and just all the way across. I don't know what it is, but this gives me such a youthful appearance and I'm really into it, especially for spring. I wouldn't say this is gonna be like my go-to way of doing my base makeup all year round. I definitely feel like it is specific to spring just because it looks very, very fun, fresh, and just gives me that youthful appearance, which I like. So the next product I'm gonna go in with is another cream and powder duo. It's by Milani, and this is probably one of my favorite cream and powder highlight duos together. It's in the shade Power Up, and I'm gonna take the cream, and I'm going to work it on the apples of my cheeks because I still wanna maintain that really beautiful glow. And I'm just taking it and lightly tapping it onto my cheeks, so when I smile, you'll see that I have that really pretty glow going on. So it's at this point where I'll go back into my cushiony coat sauce powder in the areas where I feel like I need additional powdering if I feel like I went a little too crazy. What's great about this powder is that it never looks cakey no matter how much you put on. It's just lightly gonna set things down and in place and just give you such a beautiful natural finish. So if you guys haven't tried out this coat sauce powder, I just have one question. What are you waiting for? Let me know. I need to know, actually. Tell me and it better be good. Your reasoning better be good.
for the eyes today, I will be using this little mini kit here by the brand Nude Stick. Now I have tried several products from the brand and let me tell you, always so good. But I picked this up several months ago and I noticed it was just sitting in the back of my makeup collection for no reason at all. This is the Metallic Berry Eye Kit and what I love most about it is that it comes with a sharpener to sharpen the jumbo sticks, but you also get three mini cream eyeshadows. And I'm really excited about these because I've really been into creams recently. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here. This one is in the shade Marooned. And I'm gonna use this all over my lid and I'm gonna blend it out with a brush to act as my base color. So one thing I will say about these cream eyeshadows is that they do sheer out quite a bit. So what I'm doing is I have an initial blend all over my lid. You can see that really nice faint wash of color, but then I'm going back into the crayon and I'm concentrating it exactly where I want that depth and dimension. And then I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I'm lightly gonna diffuse out the edges because I really wanna concentrate the majority of the dimension in the outer V part of the eye. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller brush with a little bit of that cream eyeshadow on it and I'm gonna buff and blend it on my lower lash line just to connect everything. Very similar to what I would do if I was actually using an eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna kind of connect. I want things to be very, very nice and blended. So the next shade I'm gonna take out of the little mini trio is called Rustic Grotto. You guys, this is such a beautiful, like bronzy shade. And I'm really just gonna focus this in the very center of my eyelid. Not in the outer V, just really in the center, just to add some shine. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I need to play around with cream eyeshadows a lot more because I'm obsessed. I'm gonna use that same brush I've been using just to lightly soften the color. So right now I'm switching over to more of a synthetic brush just because I feel like it blends out creams a little bit better and I'm making sure to stick this in my crease area. Now I'm also gonna go back into that matte shade and I'm gonna blend it into the shimmer because I don't want the shimmer to come like all the way in the outer V of my eye. So the last and final shade I'm gonna take is this really beautiful champagne color, and I'm gonna put it in the very inner part of the eyes, because as you can see, I don't really have anything going on in those areas at all, so. I'm gonna use this to just draw forth some light. And I'm really sad that I can't go in with like my finger and like blend this out because I do have on acrylic nails. So I'm just gonna use this cream shadow brush by Sigma to just blend everything. All right, so now I'm just taking a very light burnt orange shadow and I'm using it to blend out any harsh edges I may have had. I will say that the Nude Sticks Cream Eyeshadows, they do blend really quickly, so I kind of sort of feel like you have to work relatively quick when using them, which was my mistake because I laid down the first layer of the product and then I went to go have lunch and when I came back, I realized everything that I blended on top of it was just very difficult to blend. So a little tip when working with the Nude Stick Cream eyeshadows is to just work a little quickly because otherwise they can be a pain in the ass to blend. So to really set this look off, I'm gonna go in with this right here. This is actually a Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigment by NARS. I love this formula. The shade I have here is in the shade Slam, and as you can see, it's gonna complement the eyes beautifully. So I'm gonna take a little bit onto my finger and I'm gonna press it directly over top of that cream. I put in like the very inner part and the cream is just gonna add a nice base for this to stick on top of. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, look at that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with my Handy Dandy Lash Curler by Revlon. This is by far one of my favorite lash curlers ever of all time. I found mine at Walgreens, but you could also find this on Amazon. I've been plugging it a lot in my Amazon live streams, which reminds me, I do stream on Amazon every Sunday around one. So if you guys wanna catch me live, then set your alarms. Stay tuned for this Sunday's live stream. I'm gonna be talking all about my Amazon favorites. At least that's the plan. 
sometimes things don't go as planned, but we're gonna be talking about something if it's not Amazon favorites. But let's move on to mascara. I picked up two mascaras during the Sephora Spring Savings event. Marc Jacobs products were like 30% off. So not only did I get the sale price, but I got 20% off on top of the sale. So I got these at a really, really good deal. I'm gonna start off with the lash primer. For me, lash primers are like a push-up bra for my eyelashes. They're really going to keep them up all day long, especially after curling them. So I like to do one eye at a time because I find lash primers do dry relatively quickly. So I'm just gonna coat these lashes with some primer. Then I'm just gonna follow up with a little bit of the black mascara and this is gonna cover up all of that white you see from the lash primer. So the next product I wanna use is the Freck XL. This is a long wear freckle makeup pen. I picked this up during the Sephora Spring Savings event and I'm so, so excited about it. I feel like this is gonna give me the ultimate freckles before I would just use like a brow tip pen or something like that. And sometimes I found it to be a little too stark and harsh. So I'm gonna see what's up. I'm excited. So I'm just taking a little bit of my co-sauce powder now and I'm just tapping over top of the areas where I put the faux freckles just to give it more of a realistic vibe. And then I'm even going in with just a little bit of my Vesca bronzer and I'm just tapping over my nose area to give it more of that sun-kissed look. So like just right here. Let me know what you guys think down below of this faux freckle pen. Also, if you guys have tried it, I definitely feel like it looks a lot more realistic than some of the other products I've used for this method. And I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually try it because it looks cute. I'm also gonna take a little bit more of that Patrick Ta blush and then just put it directly over top of my nose area. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Milani highlight and dust it onto the apples of my cheeks. And I think I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of lip liner and gloss. So for lip liner, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Bear, and I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with my Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Almond directly over top. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of setting spray directly over top. And this one is by Rare Beauty. You guys know I've been obsessed with this. So this here is an up close view of the skin. Let me tell you, so natural, so dewy, so glowy. Like you can see my pores, you can see texture and that's personally what I love most about it. I look very sunburnt, sun kissed, just dewy, glowy and natural. I loved playing around with different techniques in today's video and I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys wanna see me use any products in particular, leave them down below as well as any video suggestions so that way I know what to film in my next video. I don't have much else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.